We're here. Snappity snap snap. Boom boom. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danica. I do a lot of lifestyle, health, fitness, whatever related videos on my channel. Today, I'm coming at you guys with a collective haul because I've done quite a bit of shopping during this quarantine. We got all these lovely pieces. Some of them are pretty Canadian. Some of them are not. Some of them I probably shouldn't have bought because I might get in trouble. So I am waiting on a few more packages. I know I ordered too many clothes. Waiting on a package from Aritzia, Garage, and AliExpress. I understand why AliExpress is taking a while just because it is shipping out of China and everything. I know what you guys are all thinking, like why did you do that? But um, here we are. Yeah, let's get started with the haul. I have some Canadian brands like Aritzia, Ryu, and Frank and & Oak. And then I have just other sort of brands, um, <coughs> Gymshark, and I wanted to try out ACT. I'm about to talk about some of these pieces and I'm pretty excited about all my clothing. Um, obviously, they're still with tags, so I haven't worn them out or washed them yet. So, yeah. Aritzia decided to do a thing. They made the whole site 20% off and currently they have like a 50% off select items. A bitch went off. I actually am waiting for my second 20% off order. I was notified that they won't ship out until later in May probably. And then I have a few pieces from the actual selected 50% off items. So I got a few dresses from Aritzia, the new classic I believe and it's by the brand Wilfred. I got a size eight. I was kind of skeptical on the sizing just because I know that Aritzia tends to run smaller sometimes depending on which brand it is. I trusted my gut and went with an eight, which fits perfectly. The reason why I bought this dress in particular was because my Forever 21 dress that had the same sort of pattern, the zipper broke. I have an issue with zippers sometimes because they like to be stuck and I decided to take a risk and <laughs> spend a lot of money on this certain dress. And there are a lot of choices to choose from, but I chose the cream pink one and it's really, really cute. It kind of has the same zipper that was on my Forever 21 dress. I trust this one a little more. I'm just worried that in the future and the more I wear it, I'm scared that the zipper is just gonna budge on me at one point. But so far, so good. Really love it, really cute, super adorable. Really excited to wear this in the summertime because spring is kind of going out the window right now. The next dress that I picked up was the Only Slip dress and it's super cute. There there are a couple of girls on my Instagram that actually work for Aritzia, so they were advertising it and everything. I thought it would be a really good piece that I could layer on in the fall time as well, but this is such a cute, cute dress. I love it. It's very dainty. It's very light. It's very thin. You could dress it down. You could wear it casually, and I'm really, really excited to wear these. I think I see myself wearing these with like Converse and a denim jacket. Oh, super basic. The next item that came in that one package was the Venice bra top. So I'm super into that one shoulder trend right now. And when the sale started on Aritzia, I was contemplating so hard on getting this top because it was kind of pricey and I was looking at it and I'm like, do I need it? Do I really, really need this piece? And I really wanted it in black and then I slept on it for a few days and I went back to it when I started shopping again and looking at all the items and the black was sold out. So I had to go with teal, but I completely love this color. I love all these muted type of shades and they're super cute and I found a way to really put together an outfit with this. Super cute, super versatile. Love it! <laughs> the next two pieces that I got from Aritzia came in a different package and this was a part of the 50% off select styles and I paid about like $15 for each item, I believe. These are both from TNA, which is a huge brand for Aritzia. I remember back in the day, so many girls would wear TNA sweaters and everything like that. Again, with the one shoulder trend, I got the Laguna top, which is a bodysuit. It's in ice gray. We'll definitely wear this more during the summertime. I could tuck these into jeans. It'll look perfect. It's just cute. Like I love my shoulders. And then I got a black top as well. I think this one more of a bra so i got the one shoulder tna bra and that one's in black so i didn't get the venice in black but compensated for the tna one i do have two more clothing pieces coming in from aritzia when they ship those out later in may 
and one of the pieces was from Babaton. For Babaton, they are very well known for their basic tank tops and their crop tops, um, their tube tops, because they have the ribbing. I found one that was the one shoulder in black and it's kind of cropped, but not like a bra. Perfect tank top length. So I'm excited to get that because I really like the ribbing on the Babaton tops. Yes! Got the Babaton. Yes, Babaton. Give me that. Give me that. One shoulder. Yes! You see this? I got this in a small because I know that these could stretch. So let me try this on. Here's my try on, bitch. I'm gonna wash this right after, but like, she said summer ready. And then I believe I got like a thermal crop top, a Kylie Jenner type of look. So I definitely got one of those pieces as well. It might be a little too warm at that point when I get it, but it's completely fine. There's that. Okay, so that's all my Aritzia pieces. I love Aritzia. I know people might say that it's very overhyped, but um, I never got to like buy anything when I was younger because TNA was such a hyped up thing. Just sometimes their sizing could be a little off, but like love it love it all right so moving on to activewear stuff and i know i shouldn't have done this i really am curious about some of these pieces i hopped on to gymshark and i always avoid their ads but i was looking at some of their models who you know were posting the typical workout videos and they were wearing the vital shorts and the energy seamless shorts and i knew about them i don't know i just wanted to see not that like it probably isn't any different from the actual full length leggings but i just you know i just want to see i just i'm curious these are the vital and the energy seamless shorts i got the same colors that i have in the full length stuff so i have the sports bra i found out what the color is and it's beat i had this one for about two years it's definitely like being worn out and everything the logo surprisingly at the back has stayed intact which is really good but i will show you the leggings i think they changed up the fabric for the energy plus because they rebranded it probably. The logo on this side is like busted up. Like the logo is literally coming off. Same with the back. I got the same color in the shorts and they definitely have changed the fabric of it, of course. Obviously I should know this, like I have the black one. Like, I don't know why I'm shook. I do have a first impressions like video that I took when I got these packages, so I'll insert them here. I haven't actually bought Gymshark in literally a year, I would say. Like I said, in my favorite workout pieces, I do like the Vital collection. And I thought that these were gonna be shorter. Maybe they have different cuts or maybe I just didn't see the right product, or the girls are wearing it differently, I don't even know. There's like no fabric change or anything, obviously, I think it's just the same exact thing they just hacked off. Um, it feels like a biker short. I don't know if that's what it was meant to be. I like that it's stretchy here. Like I mentioned, I have really thick thighs, so this feels nice that it stretches and I don't feel constricted and my thighs could breathe, so... <laughs> This is a size medium. These are the Energy Plus Seamless Collection and this is the color Beat. I already have this one in the long form. They have the little imprint here and then one logo in the back. I feel like these fonts are going to actually stay on because I will show you. As you can tell, it's literally peeling off at this point, even the logo at the back wear and tear. They're the same exact thing as a legging, they just hacked it off obviously. The shorts stretch with my thighs which is perfect. It doesn't like cut off circulation in my thighs and it'll be good for like any sort of activity that I'm doing. They're longer than I thought they would be too. I have the vital one here, they completely match with it, nothing really different. I'm not really shook by it but like it's cute you know so moving on to act which is a brand that kept showing up like they they were honing down on me they are doing a lot of advertising of their arise collection i believe um and i've always wanted to try it i do have 
things to say. I think I mentioned it in my first impression video. These are the Arise shorts. Thick waistband, which I actually really like. I feel really held in by it. I feel like, you know, it's showing off my curves and everything like that. My, the short doesn't give me any like sort of camel toe or anything. So I'm really glad that I don't feel too constricted with it. So this is actually known for their scrunch at the back. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it's showing my booty. Like I got a I got a butt. You can see the scrunch kind of and it has the contours at the bottom here. The only issue that I feel with this is that the scrunch I thought would be more of a stretchy like scrunch type of thing but it's, it's actually like really stiff and I'm afraid to squat in these even though these shorts and this whole collection screams leg day. Okay, moving on to the Ect inbound shorts. I was a little worried about these shorts being too small on me because when they're not on my body, they look tiny as hell. These honestly just feel like regular shorts to me. Um, pretty soft, pretty stretchy for like $55 for Canadian. Wish Forever 21 was still here, you know? Um, but you could probably definitely find something for a little cheaper for high quality. I don't know if I like these. Now the last act piece is the Ladies Taper Joggers V2. They have like a pocket here on the side and it has like a double pocket. Don't really know. Maybe one's for a phone or something. This is a size large. If it's like a medium, I would think that, you know, like it'd be a little more stretchier, but I just don't feel like I personally don't really like this piece. I will say I do like the stitching here and they have like a little stitch at the back. I do appreciate this as well. Those are nice details. The string feels really cheap. As this pocket on the side, I don't personally like these zippers. The Nike Tech Fleece joggers had a pocket similar to this, but I didn't even like those pockets. I don't like these. So I have these shorts. And I'm just only realizing now that at the back of these shorts, they have the logo imprinted in, like there's like little holes in it. There's no pocket, nothing really special about these shorts. For the amount that I bought it for, I don't think it was worth it. Don't spend the money on these in my opinion. So the number one thing I wanted to try really badly were the Arise shorts or the Arise scrunch shorts. I was definitely intrigued by this scrunch at the back. I don't know how to feel about it to be honest. I do find with these shorts, they do hold me in pretty well. I don't know if I'll do like really intense workouts in these just because I'm scared of like ripping a seam or something. They have like really light, subtle contouring for the butt as well. Well, I don't know. It's a really interesting design. I don't think I will ever purchase anything else from them, but I just really want to try it out. I was curious about their joggers. So when I first saw these, I was kind of like, ooh, these are definitely cheaply made. I appreciate the design on the side. They have their brand embroidered into the jogger. They're in a size large because that's all the sizing that they had left, but it honestly feels like a medium. Definitely wasting my money on this. So the last two places I'm going to mention are Canadian brands, which is pretty cool. Based in Vancouver, I believe. There's this store called Ryu, and I know they have one location downtown on Queen Street West. I know that their stuff is pretty pricey, but throughout this Whole quarantine they were having a 50% off sale so I wanted to try some of their things. I picked up these joggers. They're called the Everywhere Slim Pant. These are the joggers and they're really nice. They feel really luxe. Pockets are actually like mesh inside. I would actually, I don't usually work out in jogger type pants or anything. Detail is great and just the fabric in general of everything is really nice. They are this really nice comfortable fabric that I feel like will be very sweat wicking if you do decide to work out in these. Drawstring is on the inside, which is really nice. I got this in a size medium and it fits perfectly. The pockets are okay. I don't know how I feel about these zippers. I feel like they're just gonna get caught in everything and it's just gonna mess up the fabric. This so far feels smooth. Doesn't feel like it will budge on anything. You could look really put together. You could dress these up, dress these down. And I just love the material of it. It feels really soft. Soft, very stretchy, very high quality stuff. Definitely not worth the $120, 
but I did get it for 50% off, so that was really nice. The last item I'm gonna talk about is from Frank and Oak. Because Aritzia was having their sale, I was so tempted to buy their sweats, like their boyfriend joggers or any type of sweatpants. I was literally about to buy a pair, but I was like, I can't. I can't wear any more sweatpants right now. I went on Frank and Oak. I saw that they had a very nice jogger, but like it's honestly meant for like office wear. Same shit. This jogger is from the Minimal Collection. This garment has been made with responsible cotton grown and harvested with sustainable methods. Stuff is pretty pricey, but I did get this for 30% off. Oh, I didn't even notice this pocket. And these seem really light and airy and comfortable, so I could definitely wear these throughout the whole year. Drawstring on the inside, which is really, really nice as well. Really like the way that a lot of these things are made. Pretty much that. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed my haul. Woo. Every product that I mentioned will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!